Hi everyone, I'm Kim from Yesterday's Tomorrows. I'm with the Paint Couture Creative Team and today I want to create a rusty shabby chic fall home decor for you using Paint Couture Black Resin and other Paint Couture products. Now this is the Paint Couture Resin. It's black, it comes in two parts, step one, step two. It's labeled right on the front of it. And all you do is mix equal parts in two containers. Now I just use these plastic little cups so two ounces each equal parts one and part two and you mix them both together and then you stir it up for about a minute if 30 seconds to a minute not too long because uh this thing sets up this product sets up pretty quickly all right so after it's completely mixed you want to pour it into your mold the mold i'm using today is a redesign with prima mold it is called fall for fall <laughs> for fall for fall so it's pumpkins and leaves and the, the pumpkins have really pretty uh detailing in them one pumpkin has wheat on it two other pumpkins have uh, a rose design on it they're really really super duper pretty now it's real easy to pour these molds um with these plastic little cups because they form a little spout on the end so it's pretty easy to pour in there. And once you pour it in, it probably takes about five to 10 minutes before it's all ready to unmold. Now, when you're using clear resin, it's easy to tell when it's almost done because they go from clear to white. This is hard to tell because it's black. So how I tell is once it's cool to the touch, then I know it's ready to unmold. If it still has some warmth to it or, or it feels warm to the touch, leave it alone for a little bit wait till it cools down and it'll be ready to unmold so let's put this away for a couple of minutes while we work on the other part of our project which is a wooden cutting board which i painted already for the sake of time in the color and it's such a pretty color it's called basil and isn't it a pretty vintagey green i'm just in love with it so um you're going to want to dry it and the reason why you want to dry it is because we're going to be doing a chippy effect on this wood. And I'm going to be doing it with a candle. And candle is wax and wax and moisture do not mix. It's like oil and vinegar. They don't mix. So there is my candle. Now my candle's green, but you don't have to match your color candle to your uh, project. It's just what I had in hand. I had it in my dining room. And so I'm using what I have. You can use any kind of candles. You just can get those the votive candles from the Dollar Tree. Use that if you'd like. It doesn't matter. It just needs to be some sort of a waxy candle. Probably even a birthday candle you could use. But anyway, so you put the wax where you want it. Uh, you want more of a chippy effect. I really want it around the edges because I'm going to be putting a AB Studios um, decoupage rice paper on there. And um, you're really going to see the edges with the chippy effect. Now I find by heating my surface up a little bit and putting the wax on it, it goes on a little bit easier because the wax is almost like melting on there. So if you're having trouble with your surface, getting the wax to stick, heat it up a little bit and you'll be fine. Now my absolute favorite color in the pink contour line is Italian ivory. It's an antique white. It is one of my absolutely to go to's. I use it constantly. So just make sure you get, if you have any leftover wax on there, um, you just take it off before you apply your second coat of paint. Now, I mean, your first coat of paint. <clears throat> so I'm using the antique white and you just need one coat of it. That's all because you're going to be, well, I'm using a, um, a putty knife to um, take back some of the paint. Now you don't have to use these colors. You use the color of your choice, whatever color that fits your home decor. I just love greens and creams and pink, so those are my colors, but you use any color you want, and you just put the, whatever part you want to see through your top co color on, on your project, you put on the bottom, and then um, that'll be the chippy look. So you just put one coat, and then you just need to dry it. There we go. So now we're going to dry it, and you can still see some of the green coming through, and that's what you're looking for. So now there we go. I got my little putty knife. I got that from... The Dollar Tree, you can get them anywhere. Um, it's pretty sharp, just be careful. And then you just scrape it just like that. Now, once you scrape it, you're gonna have some residue of the paint on the, the blade. So make sure you just see how I'm doing it. I'm just taking it off or otherwise um, it won't come off as easily. 
So up and down motion. And the harder you press down, the more paint that you're going to get off. So I hope that helps you. And you can go both ways. Um, I go up and down. I even go sideways across. And I just think it gives more of a natural chippy effect. Because your chips, when you have to see chippy old wood, it's not all in a straight line. <laughs> That's for sure. So I go up and down. And then what I'm doing is also I'm going around the edges of the whole thing. So it only almost looks like I'm outlining my um, project. So see how I'm going up and down and across just like so. And it really gives it such an antique look. I, I'm loving it. There we go. So just make sure that you keep on cleaning off your putty knife or your paint scraping knife. I don't know. What's it called? <laughs> I think I'm calling it a putty knife, but I think some might be, we call it a, a paint scraper. I don't know. But anyway, this is what I found in Dollar Tree and it really works for me. So there we go. And look at that big piece of um, chippy wood. So this, the more you press down, the harder you press down, the more chippiness you're going to see now. See, now I'm going across this way. And I like, like to go both ways, not just one way. And it gives it such a pretty effect. And then over this, we are going to be adding our AB Studios rice paper with a fall pumpkin design on it. It's going to be super pretty. And then after that, we are going to add our molds, our pumpkin molds to this. And I think it's going to be a really pretty fall decor. Now make sure you get all the little pieces of the paint that you have scraped off, or otherwise your decoupage paper won't lay nicely on it. Didn't that come out so pretty? And if you can see this, the scraping from the knife, the putty knife is going one way and another way. Now that's the pretty AB Studios paper, and we're gonna put it right on there just like that, but I'm gonna to wanna to tear the edges. I like to use these rulers, they're called Tear It by, um, I get it on Amazon, I forget the name of the company, um, but you can find them on Amazon. And what they do is you just tear it, if you can see what I'm doing, and the, ed the, the ruler edge is in all different um, shapes, and it makes your paper look like it's been, uh, it's been worn, almost like a tearing effect. Now, if you don't have one of these, you can just use a water pen to get that effect. Or if you don't, if you just want it straight across, um, just put your paper on without even tearing it. And I'm going to show you right now what this uh, really cool ruler does. See that? Look at that edge, right? It makes it look worn, and I'm just in love with the way that works. So we just want to do both sides. Now, this is rice paper. This is really good quality rice paper. So it takes a little bit more uh, elbow grease to get it to tear um, with the ruler, but it'll, it'll work. It'll work. So sometimes you have to use your fingers like that just to get it to tear. But that's because of the high quality um, rice paper that it is. If you were just using paper as like um, copy paper, from your computer it would tear um, one two three but this is a little bit thicker because it is a high quality rice paper ab studios has really really beautiful beautiful rice papers you can go check them out on all paint products and they have fall and they even have christmas out already all right so let's put this down on our cutting board now when i decoupage i my favorite to use is the the Paint Couture Decoupage Medium in Shine. Now, I know it says shine, but it it dries like a satin. So that is my other to-go-to, one of my favorites. Now, I do have a kit, um, a Paint Couture kit um, of my all my to-go-tos, my faves from yesterday's Tomorrow's, and you can find that on all paint products under Paint Couture Creative Team Kit Bundles. And there's kit bundles of all of the, the uh, content creators from Pink Couture. And you can see all their favorites right there, all their to-go-tos. And the decoupage medium I'm using here is one of my to-go-tos. I basically use it every single day when I'm um, creating. All right, so you want to put it down just like that. Put a coat on the bottom and then a little coat on the top. Now I'm just turning it around and I'm going to apply it all on the bottom of that. And we're going to... Um, 
then make sure that when you're done, you put a coat on the top of it and all around the edges to make sure that the edges are secure. But this decoupage medium is beautiful. It makes your decoupage papers go on with ease. Um, it dries beautifully. It dries so nice, gives a clear finish and it, um, you don't see any brush marks. It's just beautiful. All right, so there we go. Isn't that so pretty on there? And then the part of the paper there that's a little bit see-through, you can see the chippy part of the um, project coming through, which I'm in love with. I love that. All right, so I'm putting it on the edges of, my, of the uh, decoupage paper just to make sure that it's going to stay down. And what I like to do is I like to give it two thin coats, not one thick coat. So I'll be putting two thin coats. Let it dry in between thoroughly before you apply the second coat. All right, so now let's start with our molds. We're going to put our molds on there. And even if you didn't put your molds on, I mean, isn't that beautiful already with nothing else on it? It's just so pretty. So before you add your molds, you're going to want to make sure, like I said, dry it. Now, I did put a second coat on there, um, but for the sake of time, I only showed you the one. Now we're unmolding our molds. They feel cool to the touch and look how pretty those are. The black resin is beautiful. It does such a nice job. It is, um, it goes into your molds wonderfully and shows all the detailing of whatever molds that you're using. So we're going to use two pumpkins today and we're going to use the leaf. Now I'm not going to use the big pumpkin today. Um, but I will save it for another project, but I have a little bit of overspill and let me show you what right now, if you overspill a little bit, if as soon as you take it out of the mold, it's still pliable and you can cut it with scissors or sometimes you can just, even with your fingers, you can pry it off. But if you do it right away, um, you can take any overspill spillage off right away. It's over right away. It's totally fine. All right. Now I'm using paint couture, um, metallic paint in the color brass and I'm just doing like a dry brush on it and it's good what it's going to do now is going to show all the detailing in the mold the pumpkin molds and I'm going to bring it up to the camera in a minute and I'm going to show you how you can see all the details now I'm not putting a lot on the brush I just wanted to highlight um, the detailing of the pumpkin I don't want to cover the whole pumpkin I want you to see some of the black through there and this metallic paint is just so pretty okay let me show you isn't that gorgeous now you can really see the detailing now i'm going to go around the sides because when on the end i'm going to put it all the way on the very top of the stem of the pumpkin too now i'm going to be adding two pumpkins and the leaf on the project so we're going to be putting this color on both of those. Isn't that gonna look pretty on there? Now, the metallic paints come in a bunch of different colors. There's brass, there's pale gold, there's gold. I believe there's antique gold, there's green, there's a rose color. There are so many to choose from. So if you go on all paint products, just go on Paint Couture and go into their metallic paints and you'll be able to see all the different colors that they offer and they do have quite a few all right so now this is going to be the big pumpkin and then we're going to paint the leaves now the leaves is good the leaves are going to go on the top of the cutting board and the the two pumpkins are going to go on the bottom where the pumpkins are on the rice paper now if you can see how lightly i'm just going over the mold i don't want to cover the black just like that it's so 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 pretty all right so now what I'm gonna now to apply the molds my favorite uh, glue to use is tight bond quick and thick that's my to go to for applying molds whether I use resin or I use air dry clay it's always tight bond quick and thick that's my uh, that's my to go to so now you want to dry them before you apply them to your cutting to your to my cutting board and once they're dry they're going to be ready to go there we go now once i get good at these videos i can add some music to this 
<laughs> there we go. All right, now we're ready to apply. Now I see some little open space right there. So I wanted to give it a little something, something. So I'm gonna add a little bit of writing, okay? And um, just for, just, just to give it a little um, interest. So this is the aging ink. You can find it on Pink Couture. And my favorite one is the Spice Cinnamon. It's beautiful. It's like a antique brown color, antique brass brown color. It's so pretty. So this is just the stamp I have. It has some wording on it. I have no idea what it says, but I like the font. It's really pretty. Now this is not gonna be the star of the show. So I, I don't want it to be perfect. I don't want you to see every single detail of the stamp. I don't want every word to be perfect. I just want a little hint of some writing there in the background. I just thought that it looked a little, there was a little bit too much space right there with nothing on. So if you could see what I'm doing, when I'm putting a stamp on, I hold one end totally down with one hand, and then I go on the other hand and I, I just do like a tickle. And I tickle the, the uh, stamp to get it to, get it to uh, stamp down on my surface. And then I could take a peek and I think that's looking pretty good because I don't want that to be the star of the show. The pumpkins are the star of the show. The black resin pumpkins and the black resin leaves, those the star of the show. All right, so now I, I applied the pumpkins, I applied the leaf with the tight bond quick and thick, and now I'm just adding a pretty little bow just for the top of it, just to give it a little bit more fanciness. And I also use, um, the tight bond quick and thick to apply my bow. And I think that looks really pretty on top of there. Just a rag bow with all kinds of different um, color ribbons that I had in my stash. Just use what you have. And I think that looks super duper pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me today um, on my segment with um, the Pink Couture creative team. Oh, wait a minute, I almost forgot. I, I want to edge it out. Oh, I almost forgot. So I'm edging my pro my project out. I do this all the time, guys. Um, I just think if you edge out your projects, it, it's almost like it, you frame it out. It's almost like framing it out. And I almost forgot that I was wanted to do that. So there you go. You just take your ink and you just go around. And when you're using those, I have this, this thing is called, for, I call it a dabber. I don't know what you call it. But you just go around and um, in an in and out motion and you just go around the edges and it just enhances the beauty of your projects when you frame out with, with an ink. And I just go around the top, around the edges, just like so. And it'll just frame it out like a picture frame. It's just so pretty. So there we go. How did I almost forget to do that? There we go. It's I just love it. It's so pretty. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you got some inspiration for some fall projects for this fall 2004 season. And I hope to always inspire you to make beautiful things for your home that you absolutely will fall in love with. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like. Put in a comment. Say hello. And um, I will see you back again for another segment with the Pink Couture creative team in about a month. And um, we'll see what kind of project I'll have uh, then. So thank you so much for joining me today. I so appreciate it. And uh, come follow me on Yesterday's Tomorrows. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. And if you have any questions, please put it in the comments. I will always go in the comments and answer any question that you have um, on this project today. There we go. Isn't it so pretty? And then what you could also do is if you want to put some feet on it and you can make it a riser, that is also another great idea of what you can do with this. Or you just put it in a vignette. But it is just so pretty. So remember, this, these are all these products you can find on the Alt Paint Products website. Thank you everybody for joining me today.